As we dove into the design for our kicker ankle kit, we started looking at how we can repack a tourniquet to make it as slim as possible. If you are packing this in a medical bag and you're throwing some tourniquets in there, one, make sure you take them out of the plastic packaging, that's important. But as far as how thin it gets, usually it doesn't matter. But if you're carrying this in an ankle kit or trying to conceal it on your person somehow, um, you may want to take a little bit more attention to detail as far as how you fold these things. Typically, you can fold it to where it's a little bit thinner, but longer, or you can make it shorter, but that in turn makes it a little bit thicker because you have more material you have to fold back and forth. Well, we have a way we want to show you that actually takes the majority of this tourniquet on the back and folds it up under the front to make it thinner. If you look at the tourniquet, the way that it's set up, you have this large plastic clip in the front. Well, that's the majority of the bulk of this tourniquet. But then you have all this extra strap that is in the back, and so that becomes the widest part of your tourniquet. Well, what if we could take all this in the back and fold it up in the front so it fits underneath this? So that's what we're gonna show you how to do. So take the tourniquet all the way out, and we're just gonna start from having it completely undone just so it's easy to follow along. The windlass now is gonna actually make sure you got a little bit of slack in the windlass because it's gonna get slid over to one side and we're gonna pack the rest of the tourniquet right here so it fits up underneath this plastic clip and it's all right next to it. So the windlass is not actually making it any thicker. So windlass off to one side, the rest of the tourniquet off to the other side. So take this, we're gonna loop it through the buckle and we're gonna pull about halfway back. Now, this is gonna be a little bit of trial and error for a minute. So we're going to take this bite or this loop here of the tourniquet and we're gonna fold it up and we're gonna kinda of eyeball it to where it fits just up underneath this clip. So this is too long. So I wanna pull a little bit of slack back out of here. So let me readjust, pull a little bit of slack out and then fold it again and see if that's close. So that's gonna get me pretty close right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this back out, take my tail and stick it to the tourniquet. So now I'm gonna fold this tail up under there and it fits nicely right up under this plastic clip. Push this back down and then the only part that's gonna end up being on the back is one strap here and then whatever tail is left over that goes back up. So let's take a look at this for a minute. So we have most of the tourniquet now packed in the same thickness as this plastic clip. So it's not much thicker than that clip altogether. The windlass sticks up a little bit, but if you leave a little bit of slack in that, you can take it and shove it down. So now it fits in about the same area. So then you take this and put it in a tourniquet holder or in a pouch and it's gonna be a lot thinner than uh, the tourniquet if everything is packed on the back that adds to the thickness of that plastic clip. So comparing these two together, you can see this one is folded behind the plastic clip, so you have that thickness added to the thickness of the plastic clip. This one's folded up underneath it, so it takes some of that bulk away. So just a way to slim down the tourniquet a little bit and make it a little easier to conceal if you're carrying it, especially in an ankle kit.